Today we'll be learning something that will unlock your potential, cross replacement. Let's start with, what is cross replacement? Well, there are two definitions. One is preem, one is cross replacement. For today, let's just go over preparing your preem for a fight. This technique will make aiming way easier and give you a huge advantage. The first important thing about preem is using Piku's advantage. But how? It's quite simple. Look at this. You need to make your swing short and quick. So what does, that, what does that mean is that you need to be already aiming high enough and you need to counteract the movement that you will do. So for example, there's a white line here. That means there's someone there. Okay, guys, that's for you guys. So if I'm aiming towards this guy, I'm going to be using A, for example. I would be moving towards the left and I want to counteract that action by moving my mouse towards the right to keep my crosser centered towards the person that I'm swinging of. So if I'm moving to the right, I'm aiming towards the left. If I'm moving to the left, I'm moving my mouse towards the right to keep my crosser centered. So if I was swinging this guy, I would be moving to the left and moving my mouse towards the right. So it would come all together if I'm doing it well, just like that, okay? The important thing here is not to fully use movement. If you use fully, fully use movement, you will swing out way too far. Plus, if you miss, there's no adjustments being made. So that's why it's very important to counteract that movement so that it comes in perfectly as a flow and it ends up on them all together. The moment my character stops, my movement motion of my arm is done and then perfect Peter's advantage is used. The second thing that it does, it makes aiming easier. What does that mean? It, will mean, it means that you don't need to do big flicks and it makes the enemies come into your crosshair. So you only need to do small adjustments to punish them. To make sure that you're preeming the right way, it's quite simple. Just don't rush it and cut the map into pieces. So what would be a wrong demonstration of doing it is just going into every angle possible and like not clearing it one by one and trying to take every fight possible. So here what we're going to be doing, we're just going to be cutting the map into pieces and we're going to conclude where they are just by the fact that we're not skipping steps. So our crosshair will be ending up on them flawlessly without even us needing to aim. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. This is all about it, about pre-aiming. Don't think anything else into your head. It's as simple as this. Start using it and make sure to like and subscribe.